guys, it is 10.53-ish a.m. Sunday, March 20th. Don't get excited, I looked before I turned on the camera. We are taking Nut Job out for a walk. Yep. Not Bob, the dog. <laughs> ah it's a bit nippy, but it's not an overcast, but it's not raining or anything. It's not actually too bad out. So um, we're gonna go get a walk in before lunch. There's another iOS update, so all the tablets are updating fun times. Anyway, I think it's just gonna be a quiet Sunday at home. Because uh, we have the dog mostly. <laughs> it's hard to do stuff other than errands with the dog. Um, you all who have needy pets and or small children understand. Anyway, all right. We're gonna go get some steps in and I'll be back. I think being a couch potato on Sunday has become a thing for us. We seem to go out and either do a whole bunch of errands or, and or get a whole bunch of walking in, come back, have lunch on Sunday morning, afternoon, and then we just seem to not want to do anything else the rest of the day because that's how today has been. And I don't think I've vlogged yet today. It is Monday afternoon, 3.32-ish p.m., March 21st. Um, yeah, I guess I just got busy. I was editing video and getting it loaded and scheduled to YouTube and writing this week's posts and, 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 yeah. I still have a few more chores to do and I've got to bring the garbage cans in. Um, check the mail first. Anyway, um, it's a quiet week. No appointments, no must-dos or anything. I think tomorrow I'm going to set Hazel, um, our robot vacuum, to work, do its job in the morning. I'll uh, put a load of laundry in the wash and then I think I'm going to just go do some fun errands. I need some more Yoohoo glue sticks, so rather than ordering them from Amazon, supposedly my dick blick has them in stock, and I'll go get them from them. Oh, okay, looks like Bill's fun. Um, anyway, uh, I also have, I need more printer ink, and there was one more thing, I don't know what it is. I better write these things down or I'm going to forget. Anyway, you know all that she really loves going for a walk with grandma and grandpa. But granddog Lily really needs to go to training school or something to learn some manners, I swear to God. <laughs> She's not mean and vicious. She just gets really excited. Anyway, Bob has his annual Monday night phone call with Vietnam. I should say weekly, not annual. So at seven o'clock. So we are going to go out for a walk real quick before then. It's about five o'clock, I think. So anyway, we're going to go get that done before we come home and eat dinner or anything. Hopefully Bob has time to do that before his meeting. Otherwise, he's eating late. Anyway, we're going to go see what we can see. I'll hey be everybody. back. everybody. Good morning. It is 10.48. The clock says 9.48. Is that the right time? Hold on. Clock, because that is the right time. Um, anyway, it is Tuesday, March 22nd, I think. Oh, 22nd, and I'm super organized, as you can tell. And also my hair is just like in my way today, obviously, because you can see I've got it pulled back. Anyway, we are gonna go run some errands. Oops, wrong mirror. I've gotta readjust everything. We've discussed this. There's a big height disparity between my husband and myself. So when he's been driving the car, I have to readjust everything. And, and the other way around. He can barely get in after I've been driving. So anyway. All right, we're gonna go run a few errands. I've got just random, lots of randomness. I've gotta go to Target. Maybe Staples if they don't have one of the couple of things I need at Target. Um, I need a printer ink, and I'm not sure they carry the kind of ink that we use for our printer at Target, but we'll find out. Um, I also need to go to Dick Blick because I'm looking for, I need more glue sticks, and I'm really not wanting to order them on Amazon. And I need a bigger basket for the dog toys, um, which I'm going to get at Target. So anyway, we're going to go run some errands. I'm going to bring you with me. I'll be back. That's fun. Yes, I've changed my jacket. Um, adopted daughter and her husband have had already had COVID. At least we're pretty sure that's what it was because they were pretty sick. Now, birth daughter, 
definitely has COVID. She tested positive this morning. So, yeah. I don't think we've been, ex think we've been exposed, but we'll be being cautious. I'm supposed to do stuff with Adopt a Daughter on Friday uh, for her birthday. Hopefully that goes through, but I guess we'll see. I'll be back. Morning, everybody. It's about 9:30 a.m. Wednesday, March something, March 23rd. It's actually 9:39 a.m. I'm a little bit unfocused this morning. Um, it's the best way I know how to describe it. Unfocused. Anyway, I yeah, I don't know. I don't know where to start. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to work on the easel a little bit um, because we're still working on the light situation. It's a little hard to work on the table. There's too many shadows for one thing, despite the other lights in the room. Um, but I think I can um, work on um, this on the easel. Got my sky all done. And now I'm going to work on some more of the painting, I think. couldn't leave it before because it wasn't quite right. Now that's better. I like that better. Okay, as I thought, we're out for a walk between meetings. Today, Bob is talking to India, I think. That's what he said. Yes. Yeah, India. So anyway, we're going to head back to the house now. Hopefully, we can make him some dinner really quick. Shove, shove some food in his face before he has to go to the meeting. <laughs> Anyway, all right, I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is 10.04 a.m., March 24th, Wednesday. Wednesday? I think Wednesday. Anyway, so I um, started off this morning by coffee dyeing um, the magnetic frame pieces for the piece of canvas I'm currently working on. Is it going to get as dark as I want? I don't know, but it is darker than it was, and... I mean, you know, we'll see what happens. Um, I might do, you know, quite a few coats of coffee on there before I get what I'm kind of looking for, but uh, we'll see. I don't know. Anyway, um, the canvas is dry. It's dry. So we're going to probably do some more work on that today. I really like the way where it's going and it's at one of those points frequently with I find with a lot of work that I do where I know it needs more but I'm afraid to do anything more to it to mess it up I know you all know what I mean um it's not Wednesday it's Thursday <laughs> Jesus Christ <laughs> oh anyway something's never changed I'll be back believe I got a painting done. I think that's the first big piece I've gotten done since I started this whole journey with my anxiety. Can't say I'm too mad about it. Anyway, while it didn't turn out how I expected it to, I do love the way it did turn out. So there's that. Anyway, I'm gonna go check the mailbox and then sit and do some more drawing while I watch some YouTube. All right, I'll be back. Why am I not surprised the mail's not here yet? to think. I'll be back. Oh, you're so funny. I don't know, but she's usually not far behind. She's right there. In the water. Right there. Oh, there she is. Yeah. Back there. 
He's up there going, I ain't gonna go swimming, I'm hungry. Hey guys, it is 12.03 uh, in the afternoon, Friday, March 25th. Adopted daughter Jenny's birthday. Happy birthday, Jenny. Anyway, I am um, made up like, yeah. <laughs> I am going to go pick Jenny up for her birthday. We're going out to go get Manny Petties and then keep her out of her house for a couple of hours so her husband Brian can get ready for a surprise for her birthday, which he's taking care of. And then it's just for the two of them. Anyway, um, and then I'm gonna come home. I think Bob and I have exciting stuff to do, grocery shopping. <laughs> um, but I think we're also gonna go out to dinner. Um, so we might try Cracker Barrel, which is probably like Denny's, but we've never been there. So I don't know, we'll, you know what? We'll try it once and see what happens. Anyway, um, I have gifts for Jenny and then there's another one back there for Rebecca, our daughter, who I don't know if I've said yet in the vlog, she came home from California with COVID. So I'm gonna leave a get well soon thing on her porch for her. Um, part of which I have to go to the store to go get. So I'm gonna leave in about, I don't know, 20 minutes or so and go do all of that and then head towards Jenny's house. So yeah, I've already gotten some paperwork and stuff done upstairs. Bob is, <laughs> he's nearing his max capacity on PTO, uh, time off for work. And so he's been told he needs to take more time off. So we're planning some stuff for that and um, a road trip maybe, which might include my dad. So that will be fun. So well, anyway, we'll see. A lot of stuff going on, you know, per usual. I'll be back. Hey guys, all right, so it is for something. I don't know, for, do we know what time? 4.36. 4.36, um, spent a great few hours with adopted daughter Jenny. Um, we got our nails done. I, of course, got black. I usually get my toes done. I haven't had my nails done in a long time, but I love the color. So anyway, um, we did some shopping. I bought a couple of things I didn't really need, but I, anyway, she got some stuff and it was a lot of fun. And I am going to go home now. Bob and I are gonna go out to dinner and then we'll go do some late night grocery shopping so that we don't have to do it tomorrow. And so that we can just relax and sort of, I feel like I'm running in the dirt, hang on so that we can just sort of relax and um, go do something fun tomorrow. We might go do some estate sale shopping and stuff like that, so. Um, yeah. Their driveway is interesting. They have a shared road way thing with their neighbors and I have the hardest time backing up out of it anyway. Nobody's coming. Okay, so anyway, we are gonna go home and hopefully by the time we get there, the husband will be done with work and we can get the show on the road with the rest of our day. I'll be back. Hey guys, good morning. It is 10.25 a.m. Saturday, March 26th, right? I had to double check with him because I'm never a positive, but y'all know that already. So number one daughter, Rebecca, has COVID, if I didn't say so yet. Um, I think I did say already though, anyway. She doesn't have a fever, doesn't have a sore throat or any of that, but she is very congested and um, feels like she has a really bad cold. So, and she's lost her sense of taste. So, for some things. Some for some things, yeah. So, everybody 
you send out some good vibes, it doesn't get any worse than that, and that she gets better, but yeah. So we haven't seen them in about 10 days because she got sick. So we're fine, by the way. Anyway, we're out garage sailing and estate sailing this morning, and then we're gonna stop and run a couple other errands on the way home. We already found a couple cool books, uh, including one really old hymnal that's already falling apart, so I don't feel bad about yanking all the pages out when I get home. Um, anyway, we're gonna go see what we can see, and I'll be back. We are out for a walk, and there's this one house in the neighborhood. She feeds the ducks a lot, so they're in her front yard a lot, looking for food, as they are today. And they're not going far because they're looking for breakfast. Um, dinner? Or dinner. Lunch? Lunch. Food. food. They're looking for food. Okay, so we're up here playing with the ceiling fans, trying to fix the yellow light. We got an LED bulb. We were thinking we were gonna have to bypass the ballast in the fixture to get the bulb to work and not flicker. Um, there doesn't appear to be a ballast. And when Bob put the bulb in, it didn't flicker. Cross your fingers. You guys, you don't know how big a deal it is for me. Since we bought the house and we moved in and started putting art supplies in this room, that yellow light has driven me up the wall. Just ask Bob. I drove, I've driven him crazy about it. If this works, I'm going to be so happy. <laughs> nice white light. I like that. Yay. You guys, no more yellow light. Yay. I'm so happy. <sighs> Good. Yes. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. Hey, guys. It is almost uh, 11 o'clock on Saturday, and um, it has been a good week, and it's been a good day. We did some estate sale shopping. I got some really great old puzzles. I, I'm a puzzle freak. I do love puzzles. Some of them are from the 1930s. I will put a picture here somewhere, um, so I can't wait to do those. Hopefully, all the pieces are there, but you never know. It's a crapshoot. Um, Bob fixed my light. Bob fixed my light. It's not yellow anymore. I can't tell you how happy I am to have a daylight uh, LED bulb in that fixture now. So anyway, it turned out to, out to be much easier than we thought. We were going to have to like rewire stuff and we didn't. I'm so happy. Anyway, it's been a good day. We were supposed to go to a car show thing with the kids tomorrow. But seeing as how daughter has COVID... Even though son-in-law tests negative, we don't feel comfortable with that. So we're staying home, which is good because we have something else Bob kind of wanted to do anyway. But we'll talk about that in next week's vlog. Anyway, I'm going to go to bed. It's been a great week. I can't wait to sit and do some sketching tomorrow at the desk with a new light. Yay. All right. But again, next week's vlog. It's been a good week. Please stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Check out the video description for all the relevant links. Join my Patreon for ways to support the free content here on YouTube or shop in my Etsy shop. Um, yeah, I've still got some stuff over there. I'm trying to clear it out, so get it while it lasts. Anyway, um, check that out. Leave any um, comments or questions you might have below. I do answer all the, and reply to or heart or something, all the comments y'all leave. I love to see them. And if you want to join my Facebook group, that's down there too. All right. And the link tree list of links, most of it's in there. All right. That's it right now. I'm going to go to bed. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you next week. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.